Hello and welcome, my bears wearing clown makeup. How you doing today? It's Super John Bombo here, and I've gotta, I've gotta get to do something sort of weird for you guys. I'm gonna play a game, sort of like a, a journey here. I'm gonna start a game, sort of like a journey. We're gonna try and see: Will our one buccaneer be strong enough to, I can't say solo the game, but beat mostly everything in the entire game almost by himself. Now, there's not very many towers in the game that are, are, are powerful enough to do even something remotely close to that, all right? I would say, you know, I would argue maybe uh, the Heli Pallet is probably one of the main ones that can really, like, do almost everything by himself. And besides that, almost every tower in the game uh, needs a lot of support, needs a lot of other towers to sort of hook him up over here. So, it's going to be sort of a long journey. It's not going to be the most exciting one in the entire world for the entire time. But, I wanted to give you guys all the info. I want to, give you guys, I want to show you guys every single thing that I recorded today because I think it's going to be kind of fun to sort of go through the journey here. Maybe we could talk about some other random junk over here as well. For example, one of the things that I wanted to do, I was thinking about this for a really, really long time. I never follow through with it. Uh, I get these really weird thoughts, all right? It's really, really random thoughts every once in a while. But it's not if I want to do something sort of goofy as my extra special videos, you know? Uh, a, lot of things, a lot of people don't realize that I, I, you know, I really do care about making you guys as, as happy as I possibly can. And give you guys interesting content. And sometimes, to most of you guys, the most interesting content is just showing you weird crap in Blue CD6. I get that. But every once in a while, I try to do some goofy stuff. <laughs> to, to say the least. Do some goofy stuff here and there. You guys have noticed my animations get sort of goofy. Or my Bloom Star Defense 6 trailer video. Uh, that was pretty cool. Like, I like doing random stuff like that every once in a while. And uh, sometimes they're hits. Sometimes they get a lot of views. Sometimes they're just complete and utter failures. Literally getting like 5,000 views. It's terrible. You know, when I can get like a normal video to get like 10, 10 15, 20k. It kind of sucks. But uh, it just showed that... You know, it doesn't really matter how much work you put into the video. It's not necessarily going to equate to more people watching it or more people enjoying it. It's just something that is sort of goofy for YouTube. But, nonetheless, Eureka! what we're going to do today is obviously just power up this Buccaneer as high as we possibly can. I think doing it just a full-on Buccaneer by himself um, isn't really going to do everything that we want him to do. Obviously, he has no ability to get camo detection. Uh, if you want to go for a decent level destroyer, right? I think most people probably want to go for a destroyer with uh, grape shot at the very least, or grape shot with hot shot, right? That's kind of an important thing to get for your buccaneer. Otherwise, he's going to be sort of a garbage light. He's not going to be strong at all. He's got to go for camo detection. So the first and foremost thing that we're going to need in the long term here is a village. We need some camo detection here to keep this guy going. We could go for some sort of goofy wizard or something like that, but let's let's not do that. <laughs> let's just go village, all right? Let's let's make it easy on ourselves. But anyways, one of the videos that I really wanted to make for you guys a long time ago is I really wanted to make a song, all right? A song where the little caveman in the bottom right corner over here on this map. This is one reason why I picked this map. I wanted to talk about this to you guys. Uh, I wanted to make one where the caveman is just singing that like he's stuck in the ice. And why would Ninja Kiwi do this to him? And all this other stuff. I wrote down the song. I actually lost it, though. Uh, I don't know where it went. I don't know if it's like hidden somewhere on my computer or or I just didn't save it or what. But I can't. Oh, look at this, man. I'm surprised. Purple Bloods. Actually, pretty problematic here. Uh, the birdie stuff just wasn't doing anything. The grape shots were hitting this thing and not popping the purple balloon. You literally had to hit it with a dart, which was kind of weird. Um, I think that, like, because they're, gr they're flaming grape shots. I don't know. I think that because they're flaming grape shots. Uh, they're not just regular grape shots anymore. It, like, made the purple balloons even stronger? Is that the best way I can understand it? I don't know. It was really goofy. But I had to pop down a dart monkey in the back corner here. It's not, not something I wanted to do, but I am playing on chimps mode right now. Legit chimps, by the way. I'm not playing on any special, um, uh, you know, challenge mode or something like that. If I lose on chimps, I lose the game. So... I didn't want to lose all my my progress here. I wanted to kind of push through at least a little bit. So the Buccaneer so far doing a great job, though. Grape Shot with Double Shot is very powerful. Though on this map, I gotta say, man, I was not a huge fan of it. Uh, the balloons come in from one direction, which means most of the time he's attacking with only one of his cannons. Uh, I was... Uh, I think I could have picked a better map, and I think I could have picked a much easier map that this would work much, much better on. For example... Let's be honest here, guys. Swamp, right? 
Swamp would be, or logs, excuse me, logs would be by far the easiest map in the game to pull this off on. And honestly, I think you could not just like struggle to do it, I think you could easily do it with the Buccaneer over here. One simple grape shot Buccaneer, one single destroyer popping above glass blooms like no problem here at all because he's going to be shooting both directions. All right, you're going to literally double the popping power of your Buccaneer over here for a really, really Eureka. long time. And I think that's really what you got to think about here, is that we are playing on a fairly difficult map. Um, not difficult, but like not an easy map. The crazy thing is, is we're still pulling it off pretty well. Uh, the single destroyer here, man, he's, he's not too bad. Uh, this is not even destroyer yet. We're about to get the destroyer. Bam, there he is. So now we're finally moving up the world here. We've got the destroyer going. And uh, you can see how really, truly powerful the destroyer is. I know he's $3,000, so he's at least a little bit expensive. Admittedly. He at least is a little bit expensive, but he's very, very powerful for what you get. And the craziest thing about this guy is that an alchemist powers him up to the freaking max, dude. It makes him so powerful. But uh, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to see how long could I survive with just like a destroyer. So you guys are going to see me really push the limit here. I'm going to have extra money, more than I need, but I'm going to really just push it just to kind of see where I get. So other ideas that I kind of randomly had for Bloom's TD6, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do them or not, but uh, I wanted to make a... I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Let me know if you guys think are, are, are at all interested in this. I don't know. I don't know if you will be. Um, what was it, it called? A, uh... yeah, I don't remember the name for it. Flammable. Uh, crap. Where? Acapella. There it is. I was going to make a Balloons TD6 Acapella. Where, I've tried something like this in the past. But it really, it turned out pretty bad. It wasn't really an Acapella as much as me just saying Balloons, Balloons, Balloons. And then, like, all these other random things on top of each other. Uh, where I kind of want to make, like, a real Acapella type oh video. Uh, I'm not sure how much like it would get. I, I'm pretty sure it would get not very much like. Because... Let's be honest here. I'm not a good singer. All right, I'm not musically talented. A lot of people ask me, Chris, like, what what musical instruments do you play? Like, where where did you get all this this fantastic talent? You know, did you know that like people who grew up playing musical instruments are like supposed to be 15% smarter and like you understand the world just so much better because you know music? Like, oh yeah, that's freaking awesome. Oh no, Chris, you don't you don't know how to play anything. Well, I did play the recorder at some point in my life. One, two, three, and there was just numbers. One, two, three, five, six. It's pretty. Blast that recorder. No problem, man. No problem at all. Uh, I could play the Guitar Hero. Um, I'm still pretty good at the Guitar Hero. Does that count? No, nah, for most people it doesn't. Alright, I know. It doesn't count. I can play the Guitar Hero drums. Oh, look at that. So, yeah. On expert level, uh, for most songs, yeah, believe it or freaking not, man. I mean, I'm not that good. In fact, one of my main major issues is that the not just the uh, the pedal uh, do I just struggle with the pedal, but my foot actually doesn't go up high enough on the pedal. Uh, it's hard to. Uh, okay, so most people they they lift up their foot, uh, just lift up the front part of their foot to to pound down the pedal, right? It's just the front part of the foot go go front part of their foot goes up and down. For me, I have to lift up my entire leg to hit the pedal. I know that sounds really stupid and goofy, and you might be worrying, why the heck do you have to do that, Chris? Now you just don't know how to do it. Well, I actually have very, very tight calves, all right? This is something I, I probably have mentioned to you guys at some point in my life, right? I have super duper tight calves. So because the calves are super duper tight, it means that my foot doesn't go up high enough. So I have like five like random calf problems. I don't know why. I think it's because I walk weird or I run weird or something like that. Uh, or people tell me that uh, when I was a kid, I was a toe walker, which made me have short calves. My muscles didn't elongate while I was growing, so now they're just short. It sucks. It does. Now it's very very difficult to fix it because I didn't grow properly. Yeah. Oh, oh, garbage. So anyways, one thing you're noticing here, we're on round 52 already. Halfway done. Look at that. Look at that shit, isn't it, dude? That's pretty freaking solid. And the destroyer here? How are we doing? A destroyer is allowing us to save up $24,000. Not no problem, but with very few issues here. I mean, that's pretty amazing. I gotta say, man, I'm actually really proud of my destroyer here. Of 
course, we do have an Alchemist going in over here. Alchemist Destroyer combo is delicious, though. I think if you do a, if you want to do anything with the Alchemist, get two subs with Air Restarts and Advanced Intel. Get a Destroyer, just like this, and then maybe put, like, some sort of random camera detection somewhere. And that will get you everywhere you want it to be. So anyways, I just, I gave in. I didn't want to lose the game, so I finally decided to go for the aircraft carrier. This is just the fourth tier, though. This is not the fifth tier. And I kind of want to see, like, how good is the aircraft carrier? Does he actually do a good job here? I was actually fairly unimpressed. I did not like the aircraft carrier. What do you guys think about it? Honestly, I gotta say that if there was any towers that I think that they should buff in the game, probably this guy. Uh, $8,000. $8,000 for this upgrade. And, like, it did some pops here and there, but, like, compared to a lot of other towers in the game, man, I just didn't feel like it was worth $8,000. Uh, he did an okay job, but, like, not much better than my destroyer already is or was. Uh, they're, they're way too random. Uh, the, uh, the little darts don't even go to the end of the screen over here. They just sort of shoot out just a little bit, and they don't shoot out very many at all. We only have about eight little darts here. Of course, thinking, well, Chris, you didn't get the carrier flagship. Obviously, once you get the carrier flagship, it's all going to change. This guy's going to be absolutely beastly. And you would be partially right. I'm not really sure. I think the carrier flagship's a pretty good tower. So I kind of wanted to see what, what's going on here with the VIP. Can we take in a VIP with just this tower here? It looks like we struggle a little bit, but we can take them down. Front 63, though. I'm just too afraid, man. I, I I can't do it. I can't do it. So keep in mind, we are getting multiple buffs right now. We're getting the Jungle Drums buff off of our village here. We're getting the Alchemist buff off of our uh, Alchemist. And we're getting the uh, Gwendolyn Fire buff, which is, believe it or not, one of the best buffs in the game to get in the early game. Uh, the amount of damage that you get um, uh, as an increase there is pretty freaking insane. It's like a, a, a solid open buff. It doesn't last forever. It's not an infinite range all the time buff. But while it is activated, it's pretty awesome. So we got 32 grand over here. Uh, with Gwendolyn, usually it's no problem to take care of round 63 if you use your abilities right. All you need to do is one quick cocktail over here, one quick blast from this thing, and another cocktail for the third uh, the third run through over here. It looks like, yep, no problem here. Kind of wanted to see just like where I could get to. I was thinking, what if I could get a freaking turn up? Mm -mm. And I decided, no, it's not possible. It's not happening. My destroyer is not powerful enough to make that happen. Aircraft carrier was too weak to save up that much money. I guess that makes sense. I mean, look at that. I, on chips mode, I've, I've spent all of my money. All of it's just gone. $9,000. Okay, oh, I didn't have jungle drum jet. Whoops. Kind of forgot about that. Oopsie doodles. I never, I never thought about it. Can you put an alchemist on top of the aircraft carrier? Or the uh, carrier flagship? And then have him buff the carrier flagship? I think so. I don't see why not. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Kind of goofy. You put him on top of him just to buff himself. Very interesting. But he's not perma brewed. He's just regular brewed over here. My question is, can I get him up to perma brew? I have to save up another fifty thousand dollars, dude. This is not cheap stuff we're talking about here, dude. We're talking about big money, big beefy kind of money stuff up in here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I just look at this guy, and I'm like, oh, man, not only is he frozen, he's not dead. This is like that disease where that people think you're in a coma, but you're not really in a coma. You can completely hear and uh, see and do all those other things, but sadly, the doctors don't know that you can see and hear and do all that stuff. So you're kind of just in this, um, they just think you're in a state of comatose. But you're completely, uh, your mind is all there. You have the ability to think. And that's like the, like that. That's like my worst nightmare. Imagine doing that for like several years, if not decades, of just being quote unquote comatose. People think that you can't hear, see, do anything. Laying down, you are paralyzed. You can't move your limbs. And, uh, uh, people might even come in the room with you and be like, oh man, I wish you were alive, I wish you were here, and you're like, I, I am, I am, but you can't talk, you can't talk, you can't talk, you just think it. That's like the worst thing ever. It sucks that the body can even do that to yourself, you know? Um, or sleep paral uh, paralysis, oh man, that's rough stuff. 
that's real rough stuff. So anyways, I was actually curious, what kind of towers can you fit on this guy? Uh, out of all the things, so I went through the ma I went through all, all the monkeys here. Here's all the magic monkeys. The uh, spike factory. I was sad. Spike factory did not fit on the uh, aircraft carrier. Super monkey cannot fit on this thing. That makes sense. The spike factory though, I was like, dude, it's not that big. The village, of course, cannot fit on there. The engineer can though, so that's kind of cool. Um, military monkeys though. Obviously, the sub and the boat can't fit on get put on there because they're, they're water-based, but none of the military monkeys except for the sniper can be put on this thing. That's interesting, at the very least. Uh, as far as primary monkeys go, uh, all of them can fit on the carrier flagship. Dart, Boomer, Cannon, Tax Shooter, Ice Tower, and Groove are all very interesting. Um, after I saw that, I'm like, oh wow, a lot more towers can fit on this guy than I thought, and then I was kind of wrong because all the military monkeys basically cannot fit on there. All right, so how are we doing right now? Uh, carrier flagship, dude. I'm not that proud of this guy. I feel like he could be doing so much better. And maybe, again, if we're playing on logs or, like, uh, uh, maybe even... Uh, what's it called? Cubes? Uh, maybe even the map with all those different colors? Is that the name of the map? I don't remember. Maybe even that map. You could probably just keep the balloons on the screen long enough to make these guys all worthwhile. This map, even though they do circle around or triangle around all these different areas, <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of triangles on this map. Do you realize that? Or rhombuses. All right, don't get that wrong, guys. Maybe a square here and there. Lots of triangles, though. <clears throat> it feels like uh, if this, if there was any map that was going to be like a, an a ACT question or SAT question. It would be this map, dude. What is the angle of this triangle over here? What angles are on the inside? And uh, what is the hypotenuse of this triangle over here, Chris? Yes. That would not be fun. Though I guess it could, it could probably be done if you just made up random numbers for certain things. Uh, Sokotoa, right? You guys know what that is? Some of you guys might be too young for that. That's like a, it's a geometry thing. So, uh, I don't know, I took geometry my, my sophomore year of high school, so I think if you, if you take a geometry and you don't know what Sokoto is, though, you've got some problems. Alright, some major issues. So anyways, $41,000! Looking good, looking good! Um, still a little bit unimpressed with my, uh, my guy up here, though. I mean, he is, believe it or not, he is surviving, and we do have a lot of money saved up. For some reason, I just thought he was going to be more powerful. Being alchemized, powered up by Gwendolyn, powered up my, by my village. Uh, I am worried about this Oh My God, though, of course. I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I always think this Oh My God is going to be more difficult than he actually is. The Oh My God is not that bad. Uh, group BFBs are usually not that bad. The group balloons, on the other hand, can be a little bit weird. They could be a little bit pesky. All right, so now around 81 to 85 are going to be big money levels. If you can survive here, if you can get rid of the reinforced balloons on round 82 and 83, dude, you got so much money, you can make stuff happen. So can we survive? I'm really rooting for that $64,000. That'll be our uh, our alchemist all the way up. And I don't know, man, it's not looking good. If I can't take down regular BFBs, I'm definitely worried about reinforced BFBs over here. Uh, Gwendolyn, of course, keep on, keeps on leveling up, so she's going to get stronger and stronger over time. But nothing else is getting stronger until I get that upgrade. That's $15,000 away right now. Reinforced BFB is lots of them coming in here. There's what, one, two, three, four, five? Five of them? I feel like there shouldn't be that many around 82. Give me one, maybe two. We got five, dude. All right, we're aiming pretty well here. We've got Gwendolyn's abilities coming out. Two left. It looks like we're struggling, but we do. Keep on pushing through, baby. There we go. All right, all right. Now it's more reinforced balloons. Not fun. Just reinforce ceramics, though. I think it's a big break. Honestly, I think they're like just trying to give you some extra money here. Then a big group of regular mob class balloons, though. That's exactly what you want to see. That, again, equals money. I like money. Give me all the money you can manage. We need $5,000 more here to get this big, huge mega buff. Yes, we thought this was something else to the Oh, no. Oh, no. Big Chris is big, huge mega. He's gonna whip that big, bad buff out of here. Yes. 
In indeed. It's red close here. Come on, boom, 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 boom. let's go. Oh, it's $800. There we go. All right. So we're just going to straight up perma brew this guy. Now things are going to change for the better. If you think. Now, the, what's weird about this is perma brew is usually best when you combine it with 50 towers or 30 towers or 20 or 10 or even 5 towers. It's not that good when you use it to only buff one tower. So, uh, the weird thing, though, is that when I got my tack zone, all right, I got the tack zone with the permabrew, with the engineer, with the, uh, the village going and everything. And, dude, it was freaking rock solid. Nothing was getting through that thing at all. Literally nothing. We literally, we, we literally soloed, uh, round 100 basically with the tack zone. This time around, not quite going as well. This was, you know, we just got permafruit on our our boat. We, we assume that we just got that much better. $64,000 better. That's what should have happened. But it doesn't feel that way. Sure, we might be a little bit stronger, a little bit better, but we're nothing crazy. Nothing like a $65,000 buff. So, uh, uh, we're actually almost losing. It's just around 87, so I'm actually feeling like I might not be able to do this as much as I thought. I came into this thing thinking, okay, it's going to be a little difficult. Then, once I got my aircraft carrier, uh, I said, ooh, this guy isn't very good. But once I finally got the fifth tier, the flagship, I was like, okay, I think we're going to be able to handle this. So it's been a roller coaster, man. We've been up and down, all around, all over the place. I didn't know if I could do it. I was like, yes, no, yes, no. But then after I see the Prima Brew, I'm leaning towards a no. On this map in particular, I'm leaning towards a no. I think maybe on logs, maybe on um, cubes, or maybe on a couple other maps, you might be able to pull this off. But I was leaning towards no for a while. But we're going to give it our all. Obviously, we haven't even gotten an engineer yet, guys. That's going to basically double our popping power, right? Cough, cough. Cough, cough. Well, we'll give it a we'll give it a shot. All right, Gwendolyn keeps on getting stronger here. Eventually, we're gonna get our literally doubling our popping power on our nice little engineer right here. That's gonna be what really decides the game for. So DDTs, I was a little bit surprised. So please keep in mind here that DDTs uh, technically should be a problem for me. Uh, my like nobody is really good against DDTs here. Gwendolyn. I like to think that she's good against DDTs, but she's really not. She just, she's just there to kind of be proactive and help out just a little bit. Maybe throw a little cocktail in there. Uh-oh, here we go. Round 91, dude. We got to use our keg blast. Barely surviving here. But we get our engineer. So now, we've been just literally towing the line right now. Barely surviving for the past, like, five, six rounds. Once we get that engineer, we assume that the pain is just going to go away. It's just not going to be there anymore for at least a little while. But I was wrong. I was wrong, man. It's not that much better. Again, just sort of a little bit upset with how not good he is. I think the problem is I think the aircraft carriers are not being affected by the overclock. I'm not positive about this. But the, I mean, the planes, really. I don't think the planes are being affected by the overclock. I don't know. Can you guys tell um, whether or not they are? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. It just doesn't look like it to me. The amount of power or more amount of damage that we're doing just doesn't look like it. So that really just means that the o the uh, uh, overclock, is, it's really just affecting our destroyer, basically. Going all the way back to our third tier power. Our third tier tower. Um, and of course he is going to be pretty strong here. He's perma brewed now. He's every single shot is going to be powerful. Uh, every single shot is going to be overclocked. So of course the destroyer aspect is very strong, but the flagship carrier aspect is not that strong. And round 94. Uh oh, spaghettios. Overclock, 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 Chris. Go, 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 go. Can we survive? The planes are. Oh my God! Right at the very end over here, round 94. We keg blast to keep ourselves alive again. And we make it. Round 95. I mean, this is all we can really ask for here. 
all we can do is just push it to the limit. And that's what I want to do for you guys. I'm going to push it to the limit. We're going to see if we can change the game, man. Let's do it. Let's do some DDTs. How we doing? Uh, last time we fought DDTs, it was not really a problem. Now we got an overclocked, uh, super-powered carrier flagship. We're thinking no issues here. Well, they're getting pretty far. That's not fun. All the way to the end here, but of course they do get taken down. A few reinforced BFPs in the, or, or MOABs in the back here, kind of surprisingly. Um, trying to push through. So I decided to give in. All right, I was planning on just going full-on carrier flagship. Uh, just kind of letting him just do his thing and just assuming that I was going to pop everything. So I finally decided to screw it. I don't think I can do it like this. We're going to give in. These balloons are too strong. We're going to slow them down with our ninja. This was not in my original game plan. I was not planning on doing this, by the way. If I was going to use other random support towers, I probably would have picked something else. But, uh, you know, a middle path ninja, at least we're slowing these guys down, giving our carrier flagship the ability to pop some balloons. The ability to pop some balloons. Slow it down, let them go to town here. And we're still struggling. Everything that I do just doesn't seem like it's doing enough. It's ridiculous. We blast these guys. Into oh, my God. I had to restart. We would have lost. Black chips metal, gone. Now all we can try for is the red chips metal. The garbage metal. The metal that nobody cares about. Oh, Chris. You terrible person, you. You terrible person. Why would you, why would you even continue after that? I don't know. I don't know why. I just I wanted to give it another shot here. Uh, to see if this guy was going to be a viable strategy at all. I'm um, just super powering up an aircraft carrier. And ceramics barely sneaking through again, dude. It's so annoying. It's just, it happens. We lost. We lost again. We're doing a little bit better job this time around. Uh, maybe with some perfect micro. Come on, man. Micro good. Micro good. I decided to say, uh, screw it. Let's go for a second, uh, fourth inch here in range of the alchemist. Because why the heck? He's perma-brewing things. If they pop some balloons, I'm happy, right? Uh, I'll be happy. All right, keg blast. You gotta use it. Balloons, round 96, finally has been taken down. Wonderful. All right. So the perma brew again really helped us out. Now, if I really wanted to beat this map, I would just perma brew some other towers, maybe some heli pilots, some other things. Is that really the point? The point isn't to win. The point is to see where we can get, see what we can do, see where we can push the game to its limits, push the buttons of the game over here. See if they want to keep on pushing it back, all right? Sometimes the game just gives in. They say, screw it. We'll let you win, Chris. We don't feel like fighting this anymore. That sounds terrible. That sounds, that's not good. Well, Bloons is fighting back, all right? That's all I got to say, and I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on pushing. Round 97. Not a big deal. But now... Yeah. Round 98. <laughs> Toughest round in the game. Can we do it, guys? We've got some sabotages. we got two sabotages here. We could probably get up to three if we really push it. We've got our overclocked aircraft carrier over here. But again, oh, and Gwendolyn's pretty strong right now. Check her out, dude. She's, she's beastly. Uh... She's trying, she's actually be doing one of the, the, she's basically popping almost, I can't say all the balloons. One of my best balloon popping power towers at the moment. Uh, she's starting to chase over here on round 98. The ceramics are about to sneak through. Uh, we finish off one group of mobs are sneaking all the way to the back. And we, with one millisecond of frickin' spare here, pause the game and decide to give it one more shot here. Well, you know what? Let's just kind of go all in. What is one of the towers that we can actually afford that would actually do a good job here in helping us kill all these blues? Let's go for the blue master elephant. Or the, not the master elephant. The uh, middle path, unstable concoction. This guy is amazing for round 98. One of the best towers in the game for round 98, believe it or not. So, let's, let's give it our all. Let's try it out. Uh, what it does is it pops every... It explodes whenever you pop a balloon. Uh, and it makes it so you just do that much more damage to all these weirdo, crazy blues right now, right? So let's, let's think about slowing these guys down just a second here. We gotta make sure we keep our overclocks up and everything. And, uh, throw down our cocktail. We slow these blues down. And ceramics, we keg blast in here too. The blues are so far. And then, oh, no, no, no. I pressed escape, I swear. I pressed escape, I swear. But it didn't work. 
I was I must have been too slow. I don't know. I honestly can't think of any way that I could possibly do this different and have it win. So I felt a little bit bad about it, but that was our journey. We realized a flag, uh, carrier flagship, it has its limits. Uh, I want to try this with some other towers, but uh, if you guys want to press like button for me, that would be amazing. Subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.